your life. That day will come in your life. And listen, wealth transfer sometimes comes because God sets you up. After you've been set up and you first got upset because you were set up, so you were upset. And then from your set up upset, you get lift up. I don't know if I shared this story just before I traveled. My wife and I were visited by a couple whom I preached for for two years now. I'm preaching again for them this year. An unusual testimony is broken in their church. A young man came to their church premises. He was hungry and homeless. And he knew someone in the church. And he came because... Have I told you that one? Oh, Jesus, help me. The people who said, no, don't come to evening service. Because we have great time in the evening service. This guy came to church hungry, was sleeping rough on the streets of Lagos. He knew that he has a friend who, who can feed him in that church. As he came to the church, he said, let me go look for my friend. At least man can have food. So he sneaked to the back of the church. And here I was, asking people to show an unusual offering. This guy was thinking, I mean, I know how guys who speak pidgin English think. In this guy they talk man won't work this one they ask for money now money I go chop oh boy make you finish quick quick go make you yarn on time job But suddenly the Holy Ghost hit him where he was standing. <laughs> the kind of money I asked for in Africa on that day was purely because I was led by the Holy Ghost. I was asking people to sow a thousand dollars. This guy can't eat. The Holy Ghost said he should go and give. Uh, are they Chris? Well, I go go there. I mean, I know why the Holy Ghost knock me down. Holy Spirit nudged him to go and pledge a thousand dollars. These guys broke. Somebody said, Well, transfer. Look at your neighbor, say, This thing is real. Two weeks later, two weeks later, that guy came to redeem that pledge. No, 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 wait. The most expensive part of that city. Where you can own property is called Lekki. He's now a property developer. He now comes to London every other week to meet business partners. He came to church looking for money to feed one night and somewhere to sleep. Two weeks! I, I, I don't know who's here, but I will not teach this message in vain. The oil of God will rest on somebody. It will shatter what has held your father, what has held your mother, what has held your grandfather in the name of Jesus. It will change your story. It will change your story. It will change your story. It will change your story in the name of Jesus. You know, sometimes you are in KRCC and you prophesy, somebody is scratching their head thinking, eh, well, it's our pastor is just saying some nice things today. I was preaching for a pastor last Sunday in the capital of Nigeria, Abuja. God must be running like 10 to 12,000. Six years ago, they were in a ramshackle building. I don't even know him from Adam. He just heard that I was in town, brought a seed to come and sow into my life. And as I was praying for him and his wife blessing him. I just saw pillars holding a massive church and I just began to prophesy to him that I see you building a massive building with pillars shall hold the building and it's going to be such a massive cathedral today they have an 8,000 seater church building 
And on three levels, 8,000 on each level, 8,000. This guy runs three services, and I think he may just be 40 now. Somebody say, this thing is real. Or say louder, this thing is real. So the day is coming. And how is this supernatural? Is this wealth transfer going to take place? Number one, supernatural intervention of God. God will intervene in your life. People will see that. No, what has happened to this woman is the finger of God. How many of you would like not an uncle, not a brother, not a sister, not an institution, not anyone that will claim glory, but the finger of God to rescue you and lift you up, to bless your life, change your testimony, break you free from everything that held you down in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. I said, so shall it be. Not only supernatural intervention, the second way it will happen is supernatural wisdom. <laughs> Creative idea. Something will hit you, which just that one thing, as you concentrate on it, it will change your testimony. It will change your story. It will bring you into your season. It will bring you into your favor. It will bring you into your breakthrough. It will bring you into your joy. In the name of Jesus. And then there's a timing. That's why I said, this is, this is this, there is a season in your life. There was the season of the spring. And then there's a season of the harvest. The supernatural, this, this wealth transfer I'm talking about, there's a season. 430 years, God observed Israel in Egypt and he didn't do anything. That's, those are the things I'm preaching tonight. Please, I beg you. I beg you. There's nothing. I know World Cup is there, out there. I don't even know who's playing today, whoever they are. You can watch it replay. Just tell your wife not to announce this call to you. It's no use going back to the same job, struggling the same thing. Now you're struggling, continue. You're just doing the same thing. When a message that can change your life will be taught. Tonight, I will give eight instances of wealth transfer that change the people. Corporate transfer and individual transfer in scripture. Overnight change. And the God who did it then is not on holiday. In fact, you now live under a better covenant. Somebody said better covenant. Oh, say it louder. Better covenant. Better covenant. This is our season. It's our time for a change to come. It's my time for a change to come. You see, God does things by timing. God doesn't move by your chronos, your wristwatch. He moves by keros, the appropriate time. There are some delays in your life you were wondering why. He knew why. If you opened the door early, it might have been too early. If you opened it too late, it might have been too late. But just when the right time comes, when the days come, when it will be magnifying to his name, and when it will bless your life, God opens the day. God opens the door. So I want you to know a season is about to start. There is a shift about to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Or oh, somebody say season. Yes, the season of wealth transfer will require knowing the timing of God. It will require knowing the season of God. It will require knowing when God will do these things. When God will make it happen. Glory to God. And I want to believe that that day has come in your life in the name of Jesus.